So according to the views of many of the ancient wisdom traditions, including the one that I'm most inspired by, the spiritual tradition of ancient India, mm -hmm. the world has a purpose. And its purpose is to be kind of like a little virtual reality system for conscious selves who aren't fit to exist on higher level of reality that I call the realm of pure consciousness. So the human vehicle has always been there. Now, I first learned about these things when I began studying the ancient Sanskrit writings of India. Mm -hmm. Among them is a group called the Puranas or mm -hmm. the Histories. And they contain histories of human populations on this planet going back hundreds of millions of years. They use that, that number? Yes. They do. Because the Puranas involve a cyclical concept of time. And the cycles are expressed in terms of how many solar years they last. Okay. One of the cycles is called the Kalpa, or the Day of Brahma. Okay. It lasts for about 4,320,000,000 years. It's followed by a night of Brahma, which lasts the same period of time, 4,320,000,000 years. And there's another day, another night, another day, another night. During the days, life, including human life, is manifest in the universe. And during the nights, it's dormant, sleeping. So, the entire planet. Yeah. Okay. So according to the Puranic cosmology, the current Kalpa or day of Brahma began a couple of billion years ago. So yes, these writings do attach years to the, Each the of their cycles. cycles. Yeah. So as a Vedic archaeologist, I would expect to find evidence for a human presence going back many millions of years, perhaps as much as two billion years. Two billion with a B. Two billion with a B. Yeah. 